Good morning, everybody. Alex here with Snake on his Ossix. We've got a bit of a bad job on today. So we've had a little bit of a mishap over the night, so we've got to sort that out. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell, and I shall see you in a bit. Coming this morning, went to turn all the lights on, and I've noticed there's a little bit of wet. So down here, you can see I put that out to put a bowl there. And there's just a little bit of water on top of this tank, and it's catching in that bowl. So if we look up with some on that light, so but I've looked and it's a, coming from above there, so it's the next tank up. So it's not this one, it's this one. So uh, what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to dismantle it, move our creatures into a different tank, um, see what the problem is, fix thy problem, and then we'll be raring to go. So, uh, Luckily, all the tanks are separate, so I can drain this one, and this one still have water, and there'll be no problems. So, we we'll have to drain this one today, move our animals into a different tank. I believe this has got the same water, so they can go into this one for now. And then we can have a little investigation, find out what's wrong, and then uh, we can go from there. First job, we've got to catch all the shrimp hose. So, uh, I've got a nice net there, in the bag, I've got a nice bag there, and a nice net here. So we go around and catch them all. I haven't got many left because I did sell loads yesterday. So uh, we go through, put them all into the bag, see how many we've got left. And then uh, we'll have to slowly have a look around and see if we can find out where the problem is. There's one. I'll be putting something in the bag as well once I've caught them up. Oh, there's a baby one. We need to find get you where we can see you. There we go, there's two. Oh, 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 he's jumping out. We got him, we got him, we got him. Come on, Mr. Orange Reel. He's in the net, he's in the net, he's in the net. There we go, so that's everybody I could find so far. So now I'm going to start draining some of the water out. Once we've moved these across. Oh, I've got to open the tank, I've got to open the tank. So we leave them to acclimate while we start messing around with this bad boy. Lower the water a little bit and I've moved some of the gravel over so now we can see whereabouts it is. So it looks like it's on this side of the tank, not at the back. So I'll show you how I know. Look, that's nice dry wood. That looks like wet wood. So I'm assuming that's the side with the leak, and that's the side without the leak. I drained all the water out and I found the problem. We've got a little crack over. Right down here, coming across. Don't know how it's happened or why it's happened, but we've got a little crack out. So uh, we're gonna have to try and put a little patch on it for now, and then uh, sort it out another time, because it's a bit too much of a big job at the moment. So we'll see if we can put a little patch on. If that doesn't work, then we'll have to do a proper job of putting a new panel in. Off to your forever home, buddy. Yeah, should have to say goodbye to Mr. Horsefield. I know you've had some fun playing around, but you're going to live your life and have a good one. So I'll see you in a bit. So, so when it rains, it pours, doesn't it? So I've come in here to get some stuff to do the job, and we got leaky roof and another leaky roof there, which is flooding the shop. So we're gonna have to go into the roof, figure out what that is. I think because we've stopped that leaking now, so I've drained the tank. So we're gonna have to see where it's coming from. I know what the problem is. Landlords dumped a load of stuff on my roof, so. Um, we need to get, I've run game told him to get it all off because I need to fix my roof. And then, so we jump up, see where it's coming from, and see if we can sort something out. Having a look, and it looks like the middle of the blooming roof's leaking. So, uh, I'm going to have to go up there and rip all the stuff off, I am. I'm going to have to have a look. So, we rip all the stuff off the roof, I'm going to have to close the shop for half hour or something, or just put a sign on the door saying, ring me and I'll come back down. Uh, but I'm going to have to sort something out, so I can't have it leaking. It's, it's hitting some of the, the reptile tanks now, so I can't be having that. So, ah, uh, fun, fun, fun. You can see it. Oh, it's all down the wall, it's on the wires. Ah, oh, landlord's got some work to do. He's gonna have to sort, get this sorted. This is not what I wanted to be doing today, but this is the problem. This is what's on my roof. So, it's all getting launched over that wall. Um, 
so then I can get to the roof. So I put a sign on the shop door saying if you need to ring me, I'll come that down. But I've got to do something about this. So all this is getting launched over that wall. So, I've cleared a big mass. I've just literally just launched it over there. I don't even care. Don't even care. So, what I've done, I've found out what it is. They've had some of these beams with the big screws on lay down on here and they've just kept chucking stuff on and the screws and nails have just gone through the roof and made loads of holes. There must be five or six holes, maybe a couple more. So uh, that's what the problem is. Holes there, holes there, holes here, holes there. Yep, holes everywhere. I've covered up the roof, so that should get rid of the leaks for tonight. Uh, and then they're coming to give me a new roof tomorrow. Looking good. I think the leaks stopped now. So, or if it hasn't stopped, it's extremely slowed, which is good. So, uh, I've covered most of the roof up now, so hopefully nothing can rain on it anymore. So, we've got a little bit of drying up to do, but we can sort that out. Uh, and I put the patch on the fish tank. So I'll show you done i've got a little pan in the glass seam sealed it all a big blob pushed it all down seam sealed around it and then worst comes to worst i'll just put a new pan on it it's no matter you've seen me do it multiple times it's easy peasy so uh i'll show you what i've done and we can crack on there we go nice neat patch over the crack nice bit, bit of seam sealer over it so uh that should do lovely so we'll wait for that to dry now and we'll leave it a day or two Plants will be fine, they're still damp, so that's all good. Um, but yeah, so we'll get that sorted and then we can put our animals back in. And they are all in here at the moment, all bobbing around. The blues are all hiding, probably all in the filter, but there's one on the back. That's some good news though. Our little friend down here, the banana pastel, is semi reserved. He's got an arm on the tank. They're going to um, go back, double check with the other half, have him come down and have a look. And then, if everything's all kosher, they're going to come down and they're going to go snap him up once he's out of feed. So as soon as he's out of feed, he can go. And as soon as he's out of feed, he can go. So, uh, everybody's sold. So, we need to order some more stuff. That's all our jobs and little pains in the bum today sorted. So, we've still got to wait for this one to dry so we can fill it back up but we can finally do some stuff with the animals. So we're gonna go around and do a little bit of feeding. We we'll see if anyone wants to feed some of the lizards and then we'll crack on and have a good day. In here, we have our panther gecko or Madagascan ground gecko. So they've named this one the panther gecko. It's the same species of lizard, um, but it's a little bit lighter. So uh, we know where he is because he's always in the same little spot. So we will try and give him a feed Hopefully he comes down and grabs it for us. As you can tell by the name, he's from Madagascar and he's a, um, a ground dwelling lizard. So uh, he's not going to be climbing anywhere or anything like that. He lives on the ground in the leaf litter and stuff like that, eating all the little buggies. Oh, nearly, 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 nearly. 
Yes. We finally got one. We finally got one. Send that locust down there six, seven times. Oh, I had to skip a little bit. I was filming for five minutes. <laughs> Trying to get him to grab one. Oh, I don't know. In here we have our wandering gecko or the frog eye gecko. So we're going to see if he wants to feed, see if he wants to come out and have a hand feed like he did the other day. Um, we'll just see how he gets on. So our little friend is down there in the cave. He is. Whoop. I've dropped the locusts. No, 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 no. We need them. We need them. So. Whoop. Gone right in the back, so he might not come. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Whoa! He got her. He got it. Let's see if we can get him to come out. What's this, buddy? What do you reckon to that? Oh. He's coming. Here he comes. Oh. He wants it. Look at his eyes, man. A cool little gecko. In here we have our banded leaf toed gecko. So we're going to try and find her, maybe give her a feed if we can find her, and then just see how she's getting on. So we'll have an explore, see if we can find her, and then try and give her a feed. Okay, so first look, can't see a sausage. So let's have a butcher's. No. No. Oh, that is a tail. So she's in the bush. Just see a foot, there's an eye. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a locust and see if she wants to come out for the locust. I dropped it, I dropped it. 
But there she is. I don't think she's going to feed by hand at the moment. But she's looking good. Hopefully she'll feed in the next couple of days. It's been a little bit of a big step trying to get it to feed one tongs. So uh, we'll leave them ones in there for her. Let her munch on them. And I'll chuck a couple extra in. And then uh, hopefully in the next couple of days or something like that we can get it to hand feed. Well, tweezer feed and we can actually see a feed then. In here we have the mossy frog. It's got the coolest eyes ever. Look at that for an eye. Oh my god, even his eye is camouflaged. What a stunning animal. So we're chucking some crickets in. See if he wants a feed. Couple too many in there, I might have to take some out. But hopefully it will go around and he'll start smashing all them bad boys. So I'll take a couple out, probably three out, leave him with five, and then uh That'd be plenty then for him to have a good munch. Sprays as well. Uh, next week we should be able to do maybe upgrade his tank and put some extra plants and stuff in there for him. But I'm about to give him a spray as well. So I've got to go around, I've got to feed all the fishes. So I won't show you all of it, but I'll show you some of the ones who come up and have a feed. So here we are, this is the quarry tank. This is where all the little catfishes are. Well, not catfishes, but. Little corridoras. So we've got loads of different ones bobbing around. Those are the Julie ones. Julie. Yeah, Julie I. That food was meant to sink, but it's not sinking. Oh, it's going slowly, slowly starting to sink. And then our fishes will be able to go around and have a munch. You want to go come get the first three? Hello, mate. Come here, can you do your job, please? Here's he is, little black ones. Here he is, everybody having a munch. He was going mad for it. And a little sieve. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, he's off. You guys love the food, don't you? So, food. You gonna follow the food? Who can have follow the food? He loves me, don't you, lads? <laughs> They're excited. They're excited. So we give them some food. Oh, it's like piranhas. Nom 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 nom. Okay then everybody, so that's all the time I've got for today, so please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell. I think we've had an eventful day today to be fair. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. And if you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.